good evening so uh, i just came uh, to share with you a dream my wife had uh, last night 23rd uh, february 2022 so in her dream she saw uh, she was here at, at home and i came I came from outside, letting her know that something is happening outside. So we are here and there is a garage outside and then there is a like um, a road, you know, this street, you know. So I came and tell her that I saw in front of the garage, the ground was opening and I saw smoke coming out. So I came and told her that uh, the ground is opening like this kind of volcanoes is coming, it's about to come out. So she came uh, outside to see and she found out that uh, there was no smoke but the ground was already opened um, but I told her you know I don't know why but I saw smoke then she went back but again I saw smoke again coming out of the ground and you know and then um, she was there she was there she saw it too and um, she began to, to build a compound, a very big compound to protect our house. Uh, and um, so it looks like our neighbors were outside and they were talking to themselves. They were saying, we have to change the leaders of this country. It's because of the leaders that we have this problem. And all the neighbor's house were very small, like made with clay. Only our house was built in materials. And we had a big compound like just the same house we are in right now. But all our neighbors' houses were very small, made with clay, with with with, with dirt. So um and they were all invying our house. But that was the dream and she saw just our kids were playing outside and stuff. Uh, so when she woke up this morning of 2024, and when I woke up, that's when I saw the news, what, what, what is happening in, in Europe, in Ukraine. And that's when she... Uh, shared with me the dream and I understood immediately that God was telling us something you know this problem that is going on the, the Lord showed to her again the same week Biden was elected she saw that the Third World War was happening. And she heard in her dream that it was, it was already late to flee away from the war. So I understood that during Biden's watch, and according to the dream she saw, I understood that the Third World War will happen 
He will provoke it. That's what I understood. And I firmly believe that we are going and we have already seen it started. Because according to the dream she also received earlier this year and um, last year and according to the dreams I also received and according to the messages from God coming from all over the world from the outmost part of the world is America is going into a war according to prophecies from years and years we all know that America will go into a war and people should know and should understand that this problem is not coming for Ukraine. It's not coming for Ukraine. I don't see anywhere why it should end it in Ukraine. But according to what I'm seeing, and according to what I've been reported in the spirit, America is about to face a very devastating war. And it's coming for the unbelievers as uh, in her dream she built a big compound and we were all safe in the house that's how people who dwell in the presence of God will be protected and those houses made with clay neighbors houses representing the, 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 the people, the multitude of people who are not prepared in God during this time. We all know clay, clay is, is very um, fragile, right? So the main thing here is... Um, to understand the time we are living in. We all know how the first Babylon in the time of Daniel during uh, the rule of uh, uh, the son of uh, Nebuchadnezzar, you know, his son who uh, used the eastern souls of the house of God to, you know, to party with his um, his friends and how the Lord judged him. And the same night, the destruction came and took his life. And we all know how in the Bible, in the Revelations, prophesied, that the Babylon mystery, it, it will be destroyed in just one hour. It will be destroyed in just one hour. The same as the first Babylon, they were powering and they were already surrounded and the destruction came and no one was, you know, even the king died. That's how the destruction of the second Babylon was. And I firmly believe, according to what I see and what I understand from the Bible, and what I've been receiving in the Spirit, and what people, a lot of people actually, were receiving, America is the second and the great Babylon. 
And this conflict which we are seeing right now is not just coming from nowhere. It's not like, okay, this guy is getting mad from some reason and he's attacking other countries. You know what I mean? No, it's not about that. The spirit of the moment is calling is calling for something. And the times are fulfilled. There is nothing that can happen unless it has been it has been um led to happen. You know, even for Job, well, God didn't want to test Job, but God allowed the devil to test him. So all these things that are happening has been allowed in the time. There is a time of God in everything. And we are in the time that God has been alarming us to watch for. And I believe in this period, we will see a very major prophecy of the old get fulfilled. A very big we in, in in a fulfilling time of something very great of end times it might be it may be a big war we are talking here about a prophecy type of war or it may just be the alarm before a very huge, big prophecy to get fulfilled. And what we are waiting for as Christians, we are waiting for the rapture of the church. But make no mistake, a very big war is coming and it will be sudden and very destructive and it will happen where a lot of people didn't expect it to happen and I'm talking about the country which is looked upon as the safest in the world as the Bible said she was sitting as a queen and she couldn't even understand her vulnerability. But in one hour, her destruction came. So peace be with you guys. We are in a very urgent time. But also a very good time. Because we are about to see our Lord. No one is perfect, for sure. No one is perfect. But we have to lean upon the cross and the blood of the Lamb. Only by the blood of the Lamb, by the grace and the truth, of Jesus Christ that will receive salvation uh, be truthful with yourself and be truthful with God nobody knows about your life more than God and yourself so be truthful to yourself and know that in that city, the New Jerusalem, 
nothing bad will enter in. Be truthful and try to make things right with God because God is not mocked. Whatever you, you, you reap, you will sow it. I mean, you reap what you sow, I'm sorry. Whatever you sow, you will reap it. So, blessing guys and have a very beautiful good night. Thank you.